a veterans community project. They're helping uh, homeless veterans get a home and they're coming to St. Louis this year. Three or four years ago, Kathy McFarland and I started uh, looking at geometry and looking at how we can use area in the real world and we, we, we landed on tiny homes. I happened to look up VCP one more time, I followed them on social media and I saw that literally a week before I did my search, they had their dedication ceremony for their land in St. Louis and I thought this is the time. They're coming to St. Louis, this is in our backyard. Now is the time where I can really show students an organization that's meaningful and impactful in our community. When you hear that you know the majority of Bush Stadium could be filled up by homeless veterans, and you're like, these are the people that are saying, I'm willing to die for you, but now I'm homeless. You kind of like, whoa, like that seems not okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these kids were like, they had the same reaction. I was like, okay, let's take this and let's do something. We're making like a tiny house for veterans, except we're like making mini model ones. It's, it's like our mini version of the houses and we get to design what we want in it all. We have been uh, getting furniture in the house and painting the outside to make it look nice, like it would with it actually being in real life. And they really were very thoughtful in the decisions they made for their home because, you know, in the past students have had these grand, magnificent ideas for their tiny home projects, and they've been wonderful, but now they had, they had a client, they had a person in mind, and they went and they did the research, and they researched colors and furniture style and spacing needs. The collaboration was insane between students mm -hmm. because they took the best ideas from their personal home and made a group home. They, were, they spent so much time working on that that they had so many good ideas and pitches um, she creates situations that they pitched them to staff here. So they're going outside the academy walls and going, staff, we want to come down and we want to present in a way for public speaking, which is then I was able to join in. And so I was able to also give them feedback and point things and say, this is where it needs to be stronger. This is how we can elevate it. Veteran homelessness is a really big issue. So right now we're trying to spread awareness by reaching out to big companies about this and hoping for donations going more over the letter to see if we have any other details we need to add to the letter. My idea is to send like a like little box with stuff for their pets, like if, a veg, like if they have pets. Like what I want to put in the box is toys, some toys for their pets, some food, um, a food and water bowl. It's also a little bit challenging because you really want to uh, act sophisticated and you want them to um, like, not think of you as a little middle schooler, right. and more like a big, more of a like a professional person. I hope that this is one of those true experiences for that class, to know that regardless of what comes from the letters of the project, um, only only positive things come from the work that they've done. I tell everyone about the project that that you guys have sort of undertaken there. And the response that I get is, is usually sort of jaw-dropping. To hear that the kids are as engaged as they are and that it means so much to them, that, you know, that's, that's the juice that just keeps giving every day. It's also kind of that life experience of just like, you can be involved, you can reach out, things where you normally go to these organizations can have an influence and impact things that you care about. It makes me so happy to see our students really developing into people who care about others and who are willing to do whatever they can with any means to really help their community and, and really change the world. I think it's been so empowering for them to see that, yes, I might be 11 or 12, but I can make a difference. I can get out and I can do something in my community.